SST is brought to you by Stark Auto Sales, home of the ultimate worldwide scratch and dent car sale. And Collector Car Productions, producers of the Classic Car Auction of Toronto and the Maple City Classic Car Auction. Hey friends, I'm Rick Walker. Welcome to the SST Car Show. We have a lot of really cool stuff to share with you today. We're going to take you out to the friendliest car show in Western Canada. We're also going to show you a Canadian built brick linen to take a look at some of the history behind those cars. But first, let's take a look at Michael Ampron's custom Volkswagen dune buggy. This thing is turbocharged, it pumps out over 300 horsepower, and it's going to knock your socks off. We found it at the Sunsplash Car Show. Fiberglass body dune buggies like this one have been around since the early 1960s when Bruce Myers formed the Myers Manx company and started building bodies for these wild creations. People bought these bodies to create kit cars and today cars like this one are considered Myers Manx clones. As you can see from this example there is plenty of room for personal expression when building a car such as this. This dune buggy is something special though. We came across this custom VW at the Sunsplash Car Show and owner Mike Lampron was beaming with pride. Ah, uh, it was just unique, different. Yeah, it's a Manx body. Drivetrain's a 2276cc. It's got a 63 millimeter turbo on it. Makes about 360 to the wheels. Like all cars of this type, this dune buggy was built on a Volkswagen Bug chassis. VW Bugs have been, without question, one of the most versatile automotive designs of all time, with the first ones being built uh, back around World War II. That's why custom car builders love them. They can strip them down, bolt on completely different bodies, modify the drivetrains and suspension components, and create something that is truly unique. Where did those mirrors come from? Because they look very familiar. All those are from Apple Tree Automotive out in Michigan. It's an aftermarket uh, mirror basically for this uh, style body. This car has a VW engine that is of course air cooled and positioned in the back of the car but it has been beefed up and man it's ready to roll. There's a lot of power here especially for such a small car. The paint on this car is eye-catching. The trim, the wheels, the details, it's all stylish and original, but it still pays tribute to VW dune buggy heritage. You know, friends, when we go to a car show, we don't go there just because it's the biggest car show around. We look for car shows where we can find interesting stories and quality vehicles. We also like to go where we feel welcome. And anybody that goes out to Granham, Alberta, will feel welcome. We believe they have the friendliest car show in Western Canada. We are here in Granham, Alberta, a small town in Western Canada. This place is about, oh, an hour and a half south of Calgary. And it's a sleepy little town, really. It has a post office, a, uh, a library, a town hall, a hotel. And really, that's about it. There's a lot of farming that happens here. It's also the home to Investment Vehicle Restorations, one of the best restoration shops in Western Canada. Well, one of the best restoration shops in North America, really. And something extraordinary happens here once a year. Every year on Canada Day, July 1st, the population of this town explodes when classic cars start rolling into town for the annual Granham Show and Shine.
Another highlight for us at this year's Grand Alberta Car Show was Russ Tretchka's 1980 GMC pickup. This thing is tricked out. It has air ride suspension and a paint job that was so bright it just about blinded me when I walked by it. Really caught my eye, caught the light, and uh, the stereo system was pretty impressive too. So again, check this out. Off we go again to Granham, Alberta, Canada. This 1980 GMC pickup truck is Russ Trechka's baby. This long box pickup is custom from front to back top to bottom. No expense has been spared. The truck has an air ride suspension with fingertip controls on the dashboard. The paint is a PPG custom orange. The paint is just as shiny underneath as it is on top. Flames have been added to the paint job but in a subtle way and in strategic locations on the front fenders, along the sides of the truck and in the truck bed. All underneath is done, got flames on the differential, on the transmission pan, went all out. Russ got this truck when he was just 17 years old. Today, he's in his 30s, and he's still pouring time and money into it. Pretty much worked on it every day, it was 10, 12 hours, took about nine months, but it's never done. You're always doing something else to it. Inside the engine bay, there's plenty of chrome and a huge amount of empty space. It's just the way they built these trucks back in 1980. Plenty of room in the engine bay. They don't build them like they used to. The interior is all custom as well, from the dashboard to the upholstery to the custom stereo system. It's hard to believe this truck was restored 17 years ago. He says his secret to keeping his truck clean is never driving it in inclement weather. And if he does have to drive it in the rain, he crawls underneath and polishes everything off from top to bottom. Now I have a lot of other really cool stuff to show you, so stay with us. Hey, I'm Jessica, don't go away. We'll be right back after these messages. Turn back the hands of time with Antique Chevrolet Parts. Since 1971, we've been sourcing parts from around the world to help you restore and maintain antique chevs. No tail fins, we have your parts. Call us toll free at 1-866-767-2787. Get help from a real person or go to AntiqueChev.com, download a catalog, order online, delivered to your front door. Antique Chev, helping you turn back the hands of time. Looking for a better way to buy a car? Stark Auto Sales holds insurance recovery auctions every Monday. SUVs, minivans, cars, trucks, motorcycles, even exotic sports cars. Thousands of vehicles in stock. Some are rebuildable wrecks. Some just parts cars. Others are damage-free theft recoveries. You can save a lot of money bidding in person or online. Stark ships worldwide. If you're looking for a better way to buy a car, stop by the next Monday auction at 119 Union Street, Toronto, or visit StarkAutoSales.com. CCP Auctions is now accepting consignments for the Toronto Fall Classic Car Auction, October 30th to November 1st at the International Centre Mississauga. Be part of Canada's largest collector car auction. Call 416-923-7500 or visit ccpauctions.com for more information on how you can buy and sell investment quality vehicles from Canada's leading collector car auction house, CCP Auctions. Carcone's Wheel Refinishing. We make your old rims look new and save you money. Polished, hyper-silver, machined and painted rims. We do them all. Ship them to us, we'll ship them back. Often in as little as 24 hours. Carcone's Auto Recycling and Wheel Refinishing. 1030 Bloomington Road, Aurora, Ontario. Call toll-free 1-800-263-2022. Visit Carcone's.com. Hi, Crazy Dan from Crazy Dan's Auto World. As you can see, my competitors trying to stop me, but not even this is gonna slow me down. Just get in here and I'll sell you a car. You can trust me. Don't take chances on crazy car salesmen. See Dia and the team at that car place. Don't risk going anywhere else. Financing below bank rates. I'm Dia, that car guy. If I can't get you financing, nobody can. 443 Exeter Road, London. 
visit thatcarplace.ca. CCP Auctions is now accepting consignments for the Toronto Fall Classic Car Auction. October 30th to November 1st at the International Center Mississauga. Be part of Canada's largest collector car auction. Call 416-923-7500 or visit ccpauctions.com for more information on how you can buy and sell investment quality vehicles from Canada's leading collector car auction house, CCP Auctions. SST is brought to you in part by the Carman Car Wash and Auto Detailing. The Carman restores value by making your classic or daily driver shine like new. 78 Barth Street, Chatham. Maverick Multimedia. We produce TV commercials and negotiate best possible airtime rates for our clients. Call 1-866-248-1490. Maverick Multimedia Incorporated. Way better marketing solutions. Lube Plus is expanding to serve you better with more $15.99 oil changes. More service like oil changes, transmission flushes, even brake service. More choice. Pick from leading brands of oil. More locations, including three in Windsor on Howard, Tecumseh Road East, and County Road 42. Plus locations in Chatham, Emeryville, and our newest location opening soon in Amherstburg. Lube Plus, where the plus gets you more. Visit lubeplus.ca. Hey friends, welcome back to the SST Car Show. If you love DeLoreans or Back to the Future cars, you should know that there was a car that looked a lot like the DeLorean that came before it. It was actually the inspiration for the design of the DeLorean or Back to the Future cars. Well, Rick Remdenach is keeping the history of Bricklands alive. These wedge-shaped cars were built out in Eastern Canada with some government assistance by Malcolm Bricklin. Malcolm Bricklin, Bricklin actually signed this car that you're about to see. It was built in 1975. It was one of the very last Bricklands to come off the assembly line. Rick Remdenach is a Bricklin authority. He owns several of these cars. He buys them and sells them. He works on them. He knows them inside and out, and he always attracts attention at car shows. Well, it was built in September of 75. It was one of the last cars on the line when they closed the plant. It's one of 1476s they built that were when at the end of the run. The Bricklin SV1 was originally known as the Safety Vehicle 1. It was the creation of Malcolm Bricklin, a millionaire who convinced the government in New Brunswick, Canada to set up assembly facilities. Bricklin had labor problems though. He wasn't able to keep people working in his factories, blaming unemployment social assistance programs for part of his troubles. Bricklin said workers would work in his factories just long enough to qualify for social assistance and would then quit. The factories shut down with only 2,800 cars being built. Uh, typical 70s muscle carts type stuff, a little rough, handles okay, you know, not nothing compared to the new cars of today, but as of the 70s, it was a pretty normal car. Rick says the low production numbers make these vehicles very collectible. They were molded in fiberglass. They were not painted. The panels were produced with the coloring impregnated right into the fiberglass. They came in white, orange, green, red, and suntan. Today, people often mistake these cars for DeLoreans or Back to the Future cars. And the vehicles are related. John DeLorean took the design cues for his car from these gull-winged vehicles. Bricklins were manufactured from 1974 to 1976. They came with either a Chrysler V8 or a Ford V8. They did not have ashtrays or cigarette lighters because Malcolm Bricklin, who was a non-smoker, believed smoking and driving is dangerous. The Bricklin company folded, unable to repay $23 million in debt to the New Brunswick provincial government. Today, there are Bricklin clubs, and Rick Remdenach is keeping Bricklin history alive by wheeling and dealing in these cars and by rebuilding them, by sharing them with the public at car shows just like this one. And now a highlight package from this year's Chatham Kent Day at the St. Thomas Raceway Park, put on each year by my friend Bob Maxwell.
the Chatham Kent Nationals has a local focus. This drag racing celebration is really meant to attract drivers and a crowd from both Canada and the United States. The event is organized each year by racer Bob Maxwell. It's open to any car, any year, anything. If it's a car, you can run it here. We have a class for you. Bob is a driver from Chatham Kent who has made it his personal mission to promote drag racing and to preserve drag racing history. This event takes place each year at the St. Thomas Raceway Park, a family-oriented racing facility that caters to hobbyists. Each year, Bob brings in at least one or two drag racers with a name and reputation to attract a crowd. The size of the CK Nationals is not what is important. This is not an event that is meant to generate huge profits. Oh, sure, there are dozens of sponsors who help make this event happen each year, but more importantly, this is an event put on by a committed driver for other racing enthusiasts. It's a fun event. It's not to be taken seriously. We give out big trophies, we give out big money, and we're just here for, uh, for a good time. It is also an attempt to reach out to a new generation to get them interested in drag racing. It is a showcase of what is inside the heart of a racing enthusiast. It's a symbol of the racing spirit. And now, a look at the all new Dodge Charger. So for the past couple days, I've been driving the new Dodge Charger. Four door sedan, but of course the Charger has uh, a heritage of performance. And you can see that heritage in the styling of this car. And I would say that this version of the Charger is probably the best yet. I think this new style is much more attractive, much more aggressive, much sportier than the previous Dodge Charger, which was, I guess, flatter on the sides. For me, the, the notch lines that kind of give the, the car an inset on each side of the vehicle really set it off nicely. The rear tail lights look much nicer, much nicer lines. And even the nose on this uh, redesigned model looks much more attractive. It's just a beautiful car and much more elegant and yet still more muscular looking, I think, than the previous versions, which were just a little bit rounder and a little bit flatter on, on the sides of the vehicle. This particular version, I think even handles a little bit better than the, the previous model, at least the ones that I personally drove, and the interior appointments as well really make the car look sportier, still has a touch of retro in it, but it's updated. Definitely a full-size car based on the same chassis as the Chrysler 300 and the Dodge Challenger, but efficient use of space, more efficient use of space in this model than in previous Dodge Chargers, more trunk space, I think, um, probably about the same amount of space uh, in the interior cabin, because I don't think they've really changed the, uh, the wheelbase or anything like that, but I think the trunk seems to have a little bit more space in there, so they're using that more efficiently. And I really like the shifter on this. It really sets it off, brings back some memories of the old pistol grip shifters that they had in the uh, in the old Challengers. And this thing looks like something out of an airplane. Um, that aviation cockpit look is there, and that makes the car look very sporty as well. So overall, a big thumbs up when it comes to the styling of the new Dodge Charger. Now don't go away because when we come back after this commercial break, we're gonna show you a very cool Mustang GT350 that'll blow you away. Hi, I'm Elena. Don't go away, there's more SST with Rick Walker coming right up.
Fall into a whole new season of fabulous fashion at Lady Blackbird Boutique. What's your style? 50s retro, 60s and 70s hip, modern safe for work? Lady Blackbird's got you covered with a whole new collection for fall at prices that will blow your mind, not your budget. Visit LadyBlackbirdBoutique.com. You can browse online, but it's worth the drive to Southern Ontario's most unique ladies wear boutique, 44 4th Street in downtown Chatham. Hi, I'm Brianna Corbin, Youth Ambassador of the Chamkin Children's Safety Village. I'm here to ask for your help. The Safety Village is facing a new challenge, rise and cost. Our safety programs are hands-on, interactive. They really work to keep kids like me safe. They save lives. So if you can find it in your heart to help, please visit cksafetyvillage.org and donate today so the Safety Village can be around for me and future generations tomorrow. La Liberty Collision, a reputation for superior quality, spanning seven decades. Any repair, any vehicle. Delivered on time, on budget. No compromises, no surprises. Our building has a new look, but our family's promise to get it right every time remains the same. La Liberty Collision, serving Essex and Kent counties from 47 Mill Street West, Tilbury. Do you have challenge credit but still need a new car? Let the team at Fusion Auto Sales in Tilbury go to work for you. Just call the credit hotline at 1-866-979-7315 and do your application over the phone. Bring in your pay stubs, finish all the paperwork, then pick up the keys to your new ride. Fusion Auto Sales. You're going to like the way we deal. 37 Mill Street West, Tilbury. Make a fall fashion run to Gold Coast, where autumn has arrived with a splash of color. Cozy sweaters, fall formal wear, career-focused style, boutique service, Canadian quality at prices you'll love. New stock arriving daily. Look good, feel great in downtown Chatham and Wallaceburg. Visit goldcoastfashions.com. Carcone's Wheel Refinishing. We make your old rims look new and save you money. Polished, hyper silver, machined and painted rims. We do them all. Ship them to us, we'll ship them back. Often in as little as 24 hours. Carcone's Auto Recycling and Wheel Refinishing. 1030 Bloomington Road, Aurora, Ontario. Call toll free, 1-800-263-2022. Visit Carcone's.com. Looking for a better way to buy a car? Stark Auto Sales holds insurance recovery auctions every Monday. SUVs, minivans, cars, trucks, motorcycles, even exotic sports cars. Thousands of vehicles in stock. Some are rebuildable wrecks. Some just parts cars. Others are damage-free theft recoveries. You can save a lot of money bidding in person or online. Stark ships worldwide. If you're looking for a better way to buy a car, stop by the next Monday auction at 119 Union Street, Toronto, or visit StarkAutoSales.com. Destination Gentry Manor. Seize the day your way in our salon and spa. Shopping. Unique giftware. Leading designers. Sophisticated. Elegant. Exceptional. Gentry Manor. 9 Park Street, Chatham. Visit gentrymanor.com. Hey friends, welcome back to the SST Car Show. If you like Mustangs, you're gonna love this next car. We found it out in Granham, Alberta. It belongs to Garrick Savage. This thing is gorgeous. It's all done up in black, and I love the uh, little orange stripe around each of the wheels. It's a small touch, but it really made an impression on me and a lot of the people at this event. Check this car out. This 1965 Ford Mustang looks original, but it isn't. If you look very closely, you can tell that it's a 1965 Ford Shelby GT350 look-alike. 
That's why the license plate reads, Pretender. This car is owned by Derek Savage. Derek has shown this car at some of the most prestigious car shows in Alberta, including the World of Wheels. We found it at the Granham Alberta Car Show. These rear window louvers are original, but these rear air scoops are not. However, they are functional. They direct air to the back brakes and help keep them cool when braking gets heavy. Yeah, the side scoops are a 66 piece. They were never offered on 65. Uh, same with the trunk lid. Some Shelbys came with them. 98% of them didn't. The engine is a Boss 302 Ford power plant. Derek has never had it tested. He doesn't know exactly how much power it pumps out, but there's plenty at the rear wheels. And those wheels are cool. The kind of old school and new school at the same time. Made by Krager. The engine's air intake is a point of conversation. It looks almost like an old school Offenhauser. Well, it was the old school look of an eight stack fuel injection system. The, the English system is what it is. The interior has been updated with Recaro racing seats. The taillights have been updated to LEDs. This car may not be original, but it impressed Carol Shelby. The racing legend signed this car during a rare Canadian visit to Winnipeg. In 1990, Carol Shelby was being brought up to the uh, Winnipeg uh, International Mustang meet. And so I figured that's as close as we were going to be together. So I put a couple of thousand dollars of repairs into the car and drove out there. I've got the glove box signed by him. He signed it, sat for a bit, and then he had uh, dated it for September of 1965. This car is no trailer queen. Derek drives it regularly to and from car shows. After all, he says, that's what cars like this were made for, driving. So look for him on the streets of Alberta and at area car shows. Well, friends, we're out of time. So until next time, I'm Rick Walker reminding you, when you can't get to the car show, we will bring the car show to you online at streetsporttv.com. Catch you next time right here on the next edition of SST. Multimedia Production.